Welcome to the Luxury Listing Specialist Podcast with Michael Lafito, where top luxury agents reveal their best practices, plus interviews with real estate industry influencers, thought leaders, and luxury marketing experts. You'll come away from each episode with new strategies and tactics to dominate high-end homes in any market. And now for the latest episode of Luxury Listing Specialist. Here's your host, luxury real estate expert, coach, and trainer, Michael Lafito. Welcome back to the 100th episode of the Luxury Listing, luxury listing Specialist podcast. I'm your host, Michael Lafito. We are really excited to bring back to you basically a recap. We launched this podcast in February of 2007. 2017, excuse me, and this is the 100th episode, and this is the first episode that we are really looking back at some best practices, some highlights. We've had some amazing guests on over the past three and a half years. So this 100th episode, it's kind of a look back as far as, hey, what's really something that is still uh, memorable to not only me, but some of our audience members. So a couple things before we get started. If you have listened to previous episodes, previous podcasts, please uh, leave us a a like, leave us a review. Um, We only have 28 reviews actually on iTunes. And uh, many times when you have more reviews, you'll uh, rank higher in search engines. So I share that with you because if you yourself as an agent need more reviews, don't be afraid to ask your past clients because again, the more reviews, the more likely you'll be found in search engines. Google, YouTube, etc. So, 28 reviews uh, could appreciate would appreciate uh, if you guys haven't. If you could leave us a review, if you're getting something from our podcast. Uh, so, a couple things. Our first podcast that we launched on February 5th of 2017 was the five biggest uh, misconceptions of breaking into luxury. So, that was our first. And throughout the last three and a half years, we've had various experts, top luxury agents, influencers, heads of luxury divisions, from major franchises to smaller independents. We've interviewed people talking about how to launch luxury divisions to why they launch luxury divisions to just individual agents and successes. I've also had coaching calls where we've uh, brought on uh, coaching clients that we think could benefit all the listeners. For example, recently I had Kirk Brown on. Kirk uh, invested in our designation and we helped Kirk. I coached him up as he prepared for a luxury uh, listing appointment. And I'm happy to say he did get the the listing, but we coached him up on it. We recorded it and we shared it with everybody else. I've also shared recently on our 90th episode, I had an agent who went through a, a divorce and moved from the East Coast to the West Coast and literally didn't know anybody. And so she launched her business, her real estate business. She was an agent on the East Coast, but she launched her business without knowing anybody. And she's uh, attracted high-end and luxury clients. She's worked with NFL players and uh, she's doing some amazing things. So uh, just wanted to recap some, some big key takeaways. So again, we have various people that are newer agents to, hey, I'm an established top agent already but I'm just looking for that, that, that single nugget, that second or third way to articulate something a little bit differently. Literally, I was talking to an agent today who, uh, quite honestly, he was asked to lower his commission because of the digital world that we're in. And I reminded him of a few things. He goes, oh, that's right. I mean, I wish I would have talked to you beforehand. And so, again, the more knowledgeable you are, I tell agents all the time, the more confident you are. The more confident you are, the more likely you will be to step out of your comfort zone. So grow your knowledge and your confidence will grow. If you recall, over the past three years, three and a half years, there's been a lot of different things that's different for my business. Again, we're always trying to get better and bring more value. And one of the things that we launched for you as agents is our objection handling playing cards. You can get these along with some great luxury swag gear at luxury specialistgear.com, luxury specials gear, but our objection handling playing cards, we talk about common objections that real estate agents have to overcome all the time in real estate. And we have 16 common objections and had that agent I talked to 
um, this morning familiarize themselves with some of those, they would have had that answer at the top of their tongue so they could have overcome that objection. Uh, a couple other things that I want to point out to you, since uh, February of 2017 when we launched this, we actually recorded in January 2017, but it, you know, officially our first podcast released on the, on the uh, I believe I said, the 5th of February 2017. Again, since then, we've traveled to uh, Canada and Mexico helping large companies, including Keller Williams, launch a luxury division in Mexico. So we've certified agents from large firms, small firms, and we've helped agents across the globe. We've had agents from Australia and Dubai reach out to us and tell us that they, they get something from our course. Because one thing we take for granted, especially here in the States and even in Canada, is there's a lot of tools and resources, a lot of free information out there for agents and brokers, but in other countries, that isn't the case. So what I wanna do is I wanna share some memorable podcasts on today's 100th episode of our podcast. As always, if you have any questions about a previous episode or you would like to nominate a topic or somebody for one of our podcasts, please let us know We'd be happy to look at it. Uh, sometimes topics are very popular where we get multiple opinions of individuals. So maybe we've had that same podcast and we're open to sharing it a second or a third time with, with someone. So uh, we just had our virtual luxury designation training last week. By the way, that was a huge success. We had agents and brokerages represented from both boutiques and large franchises. So again, during this episode that we're launching, we're still in the heart of COVID-19. So if you're looking to increase your average sale price during COVID-19 and beyond, uh, feel free to reach out to us, uh, michael at marketingluxurygroup.com, michael at marketingluxurygroup.com. If you'd like more information about perhaps us doing a separate Lux designation training, maybe for your office, for your region, or for your brokerage. Again, shoot me an email, michael at marketinglecturegroup.com. And just a reminder, our designation requires zero previous luxury sales. I literally got off the phone today with an agent who, uh, she actually is going to be getting a million dollar listing uh, from a car crash. <laughs> literally, uh, a teenager accidentally backed into her car uh, last week, a new car. And she started talking, the girl was crying, she was frantic and she talked to the girl's mom and it turned into a listing appointment. And that agent had just got through our class and she said, Mike, I remember you sharing with us, you know, shy real estate agents have skinny kids. So she started talking to the, 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 the person and come to find out the person had to sell a home through a divorce. And it, it hopefully she will make money because of the car accident more so uh, than the car accident itself. So. Uh, so let's get right into some things. So again, we've had various podcasts. You can go to our, our podcast website, which is luxurylistingpodcast.com, luxurylistingpodcast.com, or you can look up our podcast on iTunes or Spotify or Stitcher, and that's just luxury listing specials, luxury listing specials. Please leave us a review, as I mentioned. So let's get into a couple things. So let's talk about, first off, the Ritz-Carlton experience. So one of the things I teach during my live trainings is I say, why do people pay four or five dollars for a Starbucks coffee when they can get what some people say a better coffee at Dunkin' Donuts or maybe even McDonald's for a third of the price? Well, many agents chime in with various responses. The experience, the branding, the marketing, they know your name, better Wi-Fi, better internet. But sometimes it's just better marketing as well. But we talked about the Ritz-Carlton experience on a previous episode, uh, and that is really important. The experience when you're dealing with high net worth individuals is, is, is very important. For those of you that are watching a replay of my video creating this podcast, I have a couple signs behind me. One of them says speed cost. One of them says speed cost. Well, again, it does cost a little bit more to work with a specialist but sellers should net more when working with the specialist because speed does cost. And if you hire an agent, 
that has better marketing, better exposure, better resources, better negotiator, has a bigger database, then you'll have a higher probability as an agent of getting that home sold faster for more money. And so, yeah, you might charge a little bit more than the average agent or the, the discount agent, but the seller should net more. I love proving others wrong and I hope you do as well. So I'm gonna just highlight a couple of our podcasts that stand out to me. You can check them out. Again, you can always go to luxurylistingpodcast.com and scroll down and listen to older episodes. Episode 52, I had Thad Wong on. Thad is uh, one of the founders of At Properties in Chicago. They're one of the largest independents. They do, I think, over nine or 10 billion in volume. They have about 2,500 agents that work for them. And Thad and his company are really big into not just digital marketing, but print marketing. And At Properties, for those of you that um, are are watching the replay of the video, you can see that what I have on the screen, Ad Properties has some amazing print marketing, basically listing brochures. These are coffee books that you leave with the buyer's agent or the buyer. It's a way to differentiate yourself. Does it help get the home sold? I don't know if it does, but it definitely can differentiate. I remember I was on a million dollar plus listing appointment. The seller was interviewing six other agents besides myself. He called me within the week and said, it's between you and somebody else. And he said to me, two things I remember. Let me grab. He said two things. One, you never asked for the, the listing at the appointment. And I told Dan, I said, Dan, I believe my job is to bring an abundance of evidence and examples and case studies as to why I'm the right guy. I'm not in the arm twisting business. So I'd love to work with you. I said, when I'm working with a buyer's agent and a buyer, I'm proactive. I get deals together when others don't think there's a deal, but I'm not in the arm twisting business. I'm not going to force you to do business with me because in the past I found where I really chased a listing and I wanted it more than the seller. In the end, it really uh, didn't work out as much as I'd like. So I want you to see the value in my service. And I believe I provide an amazing evidence of that uh, during our appointment. Hi, it's Michael Lafito here with a quick break from the podcast. If you are committed to increasing your average sale price and you want to work smarter, not harder, then you want to visit LuxuryListingSpecials.com for more information on the Lux designation along with some free resources. And now, let's get back to the show. And then the second question he said is, hey, that, that thick book that you shared, as an example of a listing book, if we hired you, would you do the same for me? I said, yes. Sorry, the listing's yours. So that was episode 52. In episode 55, I talked to Anthony Lamacchia out of Boston. He's with an independent company out there, and Anthony launched a luxury division. So we talked about what went into his thoughts, why he launched the luxury division on episode 55. Episode, by the way, episodes one through 50 were amazing. And um, so I'm, I'm not going to reference them and as much uh, because they were a little bit longer uh, way back. But I had Michi Olson. Michi Olson at the time with, was with the Independent in San Francisco before they got acquired by Compass. And she talked about working with Chinese buyers. She was in one of the first 50 episodes along with Richard Silver. Richard Silver was in one of the top 50 episodes, first 50 episodes. Richard's, Richard is a Sotheby's agent out of Toronto. And Richard um, understands the demographic of his clients in his market. You see, Toronto's a melting plot, pot. They have different um, buyers coming from different countries, different languages spoken. So he's actually built a team based on different ethnics and different languages so that he can service the people looking to buy or sell in the Toronto market, which I thought was, was brilliant. I also had um, uh, someone come on our podcast named Angel Tucker, and she talked about personality profiles. So if you're not familiar with disc personality, you should be. Uh, there are a lot of free disc personality profiles out there. Many agents I talk to, they have enough appointments, but what they struggle with is the conversion from an appointment to a client. And so disc personality is huge with that. All right, uh, let's fast forward a little bit. On my 
58th episode, it was kind of a humorous episode, but maybe you recall from a little over a year ago, there were a couple agents. One agent was selling a home out in the East Coast and it had a sex dungeon. And, and she put pictures of, of this out there. It was a little risque. And so I, she got on a lot of news and there was a lot of PR around it. So I asked her, A, how many showings you've had B, how many showings do you think you would have had had you not leveraged this and put this in there? And at the time, she hadn't had the property sold, but literally, she was probably getting 10 to 20 more times in inquiries and qualified showings than she would have if she hadn't talked about the sex dungeon and put it out there. We also had an agent out of, that was out of the Houston area, and, and she had underwear models um, in some of her MLS vacant listing pictures. So she had a, an attractive female and an attractive male wear basically underwear or swimsuit. And, and they were in various pictures of the MLS photos and people complained. So they got it, they, those pictures were removed, but I talked to her same thing about showings and inquiries and same thing, she had a lot more activity. That was our 58th episode. You know, on our 64th episode, this is one of the biggest takeaways I can, I can teach everybody and remind everybody. I had um, Kevin Foreman on our 64th episode, and Kevin talked about how he believes the average national commissions are going to go down from over a year ago, they were at 5.08%, according to Real Trends. He believes the average national commissions are going to plummet down to 3.64% in the next, I guess, six years now. At the time, it was seven years. And he referenced, because of low fee companies, uh, I buyers, and, and, and just less friction out there. And so I'm, I don't share that episode with you to scare you, but I tell that to you because as an agent, if commissions are going to go down 20 to 40% over the next five to six, seven years, well, how can you make the same, if not more money over the five to seven years? Well, I think the lowest hanging fruit is increase your average sale price by 30 40 to 40%. And so that's what we teach in our free podcast and our blog, our vlog at Lux Redefined, L U X E Redefined.com. In our book, Luxury Listing Specials, you can find it on Amazon. And by the way, if you have read it, please leave us a review. Or if you're really committed, to increasing your average sale price to 30 or 40% over the next five years or more, then check out LuxuryListingSpecials.com, our designation. It's an online platform. You have zero sales requirement, and that's for the committed agents. My, uh, on our 72nd episode, I had a, an agent out of California. She was a millennial, and she talked about how, as a millennial, how she broke into selling high-end and luxury real estate. On our 80th episode, we talked about state and local taxes, or SALT. We had Jennifer Ames with Angle and Volker. She talked about how SALT has affected the upper end market because households can only write off up to $10,000 in, in write-offs from property taxes and, and income taxes, uh, where before there wasn't a cap. And it's not $10,000 per individual, it's $10,000 per household. Bitcoin, we talked about Bitcoin and, 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 and cryptocurrency on our 86th episode. So if you're not, not familiar with crypto, check it out on our 86th episode. Um, on both our 62nd and our 88th episode, we really talked about international real estate and how to market your properties as well as build relationships internationally on our 62nd and 88th episode. By the way, the 88th episode is where we talk specifically with Keller Williams Mexico about how we help them launch their luxury division. And that's pretty much a recap of what I would say some of my most memorable. So again, I want to recap some misconceptions that real estate agents and brokers have about breaking into luxury. Again, you as an agent or broker or team leader do not have to be licensed for X amount of years. Do not have to be wealthy yourself or drive a certain car, or you know, be with a certain brokerage. Those are all false, those are all false, those are all false. So I tell agents, grow your knowledge and your confidence 
will grow. If you grow your knowledge, you're more confident. If you're more confident, you're more likely to step out of your comfort zone. So what are you feeding yourself? What are you listening to? Again, you're listening to this podcast, so I commend you. That's a step in the right direction. You know, Denzel Washington says, if you hang out with five negative people, you'll be the six. If you hang out with five overachievers, you'll be the six. If you hang out with five, you know, positive-minded people, you'll be the six. If you hang out with five victims, you'll be the six. So what are you doing? Who are you surrounding yourself? What are you listening to? Unfortunately, with luxury real estate, there's no easy button. There's not a magical website. So what we teach is systems. We teach mindset. We teach training in our dedicate uh, in our in our uh, designation, luxury listing specials. So those are just a few of the lessons I've learned in this the hundredth luxury listing specials podcast. I'd love to hear from you. When did you start listening to our podcast? Shoot me an email, leave us a review on when you started listening to it and what are a few nuggets you've learned. And for anybody that leaves me a review, that is, I guess, dated after the 20th of July of 2020, anybody that leaves me a review from the 20th of July or after, and you reference this 100th episode podcast, I will email you a digital copy of our objection handling playing card to $27 value as a thank you. So let me repeat, leave us a review on luxury listing specials on iTunes and or on Amazon for our book, luxury listing specials. Shoot me an email with a screenshot of it and reference for our the hundredth episode pos- podcast and share with me a couple things that you've learned and how long you've been listening to the podcast, and we will email you a digital version of our luxury listing uh, objection handling playing cards, which we sell for $27 on luxury on luxuryspecialsgear.com, luxuryspecialsgear.com. Again, my name is Michael Lafito. Make somebody's day. Keep raising the bar in real estate. And if you like our episodes, if you learn something, please leave us a review. Keep raising the bar in real estate. Until next episode, Michael Lafito. And if you have any questions at all, shoot me a note, Michael at marketingluxurygroup.com. Again, we are part of the Industry Syndicate podcast, Industry Syndicate podcast. Check it out. There's some amazing podcasts there. And for more information, if you're committed to increasing your sale price, check out luxurylistingspecials.com for more information on our debt on our designation. Take care.